Hi guys, Adam the OT back again with some more simple, fun and effective OT games that are perfect for the home, the clinic and the classroom. Don't forget if you like these videos and want to stay updated, click subscribe. Any videos you'd like to see, let me know in the comments and I'll be delighted to do a video just for you, okay? So today's activity is kind of an important one for right now. This is about movement breaks in movement restricted classrooms. Now a lot of my teacher friends and my parents know the importance of movement and physical exercise, both after school activities activities in the general like daily routine, but also acute movement breaks within the classroom, within the school day, because that's going to help not only the child's health and fitness, but also their mood, their behavior, their focus, and their overall availability for learning. So you have a child who's happier, better able to attend, and more available for learning. With the classrooms I'm working with now, with the COVID situation, a lot of the opportunities for movement are heavily, heavily restricted. So if we don't find a better way or find an acceptable way to get movement breaks within those boundaries, and the boundaries are there for good reason, then we're going to see a lot of the negative implications of this lack of movement. But on not to worry, because today I'm going to show you some really, really good ways to get really strong, really effective and beneficial physical activity in movement restricted classrooms. Okay guys, when I'm doing movement breaks, there's a few principles I always work with. I'll go through the principles, then I'll show you one of my favorite movement breaks for these restricted classrooms called the drums of fire and ice. So before we get to the drums, let's see the principles. So number one, I need it to be fun. I need to capture all kids immediately. I call this squatting up. So squad up means I gather my squad and get everyone emotionally invested in this bit of silliness we're about to do, okay? Squad up, number one. Number two, we're gonna get first movement, get the heart beating, get a little bit of kind of cardio work in without moving too much, can be done. That's number two, okay, get the heart beating. Squat up, heart beating. Next, strength. A lot of isometric strength. So movements where the child's really using all of their effort, really emotionally committing to this activity, and they're really pushing themselves. Now, that was number three. Number four, we're gonna have a lot of dynamic range of movement stretches. So you're using the joints out to their full range, getting the maximum out of that proprioceptive input at the end range of the joint, okay? And lastly then, I'm gonna try and bring in some breath work, some deep breathing, but in a very fun way. And then as a bonus for can, get as much sensory input and sensory seasoning on that whole activity as possible. Okay, so that's the, I'll put them, the, the little, little bullet points in the description as well. Okay, so let's see them all in the first activity called the drums of fire and ice. Okay, drums. So first thing I'll do to squat up, I'll have one like cueing phrase, okay, which is drumsticks. Boom, these are my drumsticks, okay? I'll have everyone throw up your drumsticks. Let me see your drumsticks. Whap, lovely drumsticks, looking strong. Then we're gonna do a drum roll. So all the class are gonna have this. I'm gonna make a noise that's gonna join everyone together, almost like a chant to get everyone united. Works really well in soccer games and any type of like sports event, you'll hear this in the crowd. Look at the All Blacks rugby team when they do the haka. They're not self-conscious. Look at the Icelandic football supporters in the World Cup, their Icelandic chant, it's awesome. This is what we're gonna get, that energy in a classroom. So drumsticks up, drum roll. This is their desk, they're gonna drum roll. Drum roll. So you're gonna get them to beat and drum and make a loud, thunderous amount of noise in the, the tabletop, okay? You're gonna keep that going for as long as you want. Then you're gonna say three, two, one, clap. So drum, 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 three, two, one, clap. And they're all going to get it at the same time. Then you're going to look out for anyone who's a little slower and go, ah, I saw you. And you want everyone getting it at the same time. So we drum roll. This is the first activity. Three, two, one, clap. Beautiful. Okay. As they clap, I'm going to get them to squeeze now. So they land the clap and press their hands together. I mean really strongly, okay? Push, push, push. So this is the isometric. They're pressing through the palms, feeling it through the chest and shoulders and arms. And what you're looking for is 10 seconds of the phrase is T-U-T, time under tension. So holding an isometric, keeping it strong. You can even go around, use something almost like hook onto the child's hand to try and pull their hands out. No, they're gonna keep it really, really strong. Keep it there, keep it stable. You're counting for about 10 seconds of that time under tension. Crush, crush, crush. And then release the tension and straight away you're gonna stretch out. Oh, that beautiful big stretch. The one I would do from the first 
I will get their hands behind their back and stretch. If you want to be just general, you can get them to yawn and stretch out anywhere they like. That's fine because you're getting all that tension and then releasing it all out. Okay, beautiful stuff. Next, you're going to do that four times. Drum roll. Bum, 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 bum. Three, two, one, clap. Isometric press through the chest and shoulders and arms. And then stretching out. You can do individual stretches and hold for 10 seconds. Or you can just get them to yawn and stretch like a sleepy bear. That works too. Now the final time you do it, here comes the fire and ice. And here comes the breath work. You're going to drum roll and clap. But this time, they're going to make a fire with their hands. They're going to rub their hands faster and faster. You're going to feel their hands heat up. And you can tell them, feel how hot your hands are getting. Ooh, they're going to burst into flames. You're going to make a fire with your hands. They'll feel the heat coming off their palms. Then they take a deep breath in. And then blow the ice on their hands. Now when their hands are all hot from the friction, the breath will feel really cold again. Okay, drum roll. Bum, 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 bum. Three, two, one, clap. Rub, 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 rub. Ten seconds. Deep breath in. I'm blowing down for the ice, okay? So what you're getting through all of that is, you're getting the whole class united. With this drum roll, three, two, one, clap. You can get the children to say three, two, one, clap. You can pick a child to lead it each time, and then they keep it going until they say three, two, one, and everyone has to clap at the same time. You can get them to think about their favorite superhero when they're squeezing. You just want them committed to that. Not letting any pressure off the hands, strong, committed, emotional, putting everything into that. Then when they release, all that asymmetric, all that strength, all that tension fades away, and we stretch out. I wouldn't specifically teach the breath at the stretching part. I would just let them stretch and let them release a little bit between each one. Then for the final one is the breath work, where as they clap from the drum roll, you're going to fire hands. So rub them and make them hot. Deep breath in, and blow, and cool them back down and put out the fire again. So you're getting that breath work every time, okay? So that's the drums of fire and ice. That's one way to do it. There's a bunch of other ways you can do it where you're going to have, instead of drum with the hands, you can stand up and drum roll. It's going to be drumsticks. Instead of drumsticks up, drumsticks down, stomping your feet. And instead of clap, you jump up and stomp. And then instead of squeezing the hands together, you can pull the hands apart. So you'll feel the strength in the upper back and shoulders. But the same principles apply. You're staying in one spot. It only uses that child. You get them squat up, get every kid in the class really involved in the activity. Heavy isometrics, nice dynamic range of movement stretches, and breath work that's very obvious and is part of the activity as well. Okay, and that's what some of the ways I like doing movement breaks and movement restricted classrooms. For a lot of movement activities, it's not the physical exercise you do, it's how much you can get the child committed to do it. If they care about it, if they're emotionally invested and you feel them straining and pushing, and then when they take a deep breath, they're really, they're leaving it all out there. They're really letting go and that's what you want. That's gonna emotionally wipe the slate clean between transitioning from one activity to the other and that's ideally what you want from a movement break, okay? Thank you so much, guys. That's the movement breaks for some movement restricted classrooms and that was the drums of fire and ice, which is one example of them. I'm going to do a little like instructional for a, like dozens of activities you can do in movement restricted classrooms. And if you have any specific questions or worries about things you can do with your child, feel free to message me and I'm happy to help out any way I can. Before I was an OT, I mentioned before, I spent many years as a personal trainer and like a strength and conditioning coach. So this is very much in my wheelhouse. So I'm working with quite a lot of my kids of from three to like 18. Every young person benefits from this. If you're going to work your brain, you'll benefit from getting some body work in there as well, okay? Thank you so much, guys. That's another one from Adam the OT. If you do use these videos, please do let me know if you have used them with your kids. I love getting the pictures and messages and videos I get every day of the week from all over the world. They're really fantastic. Thank you. If you want to stay updated, click subscribe. And any questions you have, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Okay? Thank you so much, guys. Adam the OT. I